Hello and good morning. Good morning, London. Students are joining in. Hello, Sammy. Good morning. Sammy, I think. Jack Kidd is trying to join in. Other students are trying to join in. Olesia. Is my voice clear to you? Can you hear me clearly? Can you please write back to me? Hello, Jack He. Good to see you. If you can hear me clearly, can you please write back to me? Let me enter, admit other students. Okay. Thank you, Sami, for your confirmation. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie Da. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. <laughs> students are joining in one by one. A very good morning from accounting lecture and KVM. It's a joint collaboration a lecture conducted by accounting lecture and uh, KVM together. So, yes, if you want to stop your video, it's all right, no problem. If you want to keep your videos on, that's all right as well. So let me admit all the students. They're coming in one by one, one by one, joining one by one. It's just uh, early in the morning. So hello, Vidya, good to see you. Uh, just trying to connect the audio. Good to see you, Vidya. Uh, you have joined. Hi, yeah, your video is mute. Uh, uh, the microphone is mute. I'm going to open for some of maybe couple or uh, one. That's all right, thank you. Okay, great, great, great. Students are joining in. That's superb. Let me check out some more. Yeah, I'm expecting more students. This is just early in the morning, just 10 o'clock. We, we joined, started a little early today. So two or three minutes early, I believe that is fine. Okay, and uh, I'm just admitting all the students one by one. They are joining in, joining in and joining in. Let them join in. And let's carry on. Uh, okay, just give me a couple of minutes. Yeah, they are in the queue. So, waiting room. Yes. <coughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, in front of me, there is a camera. There's a big writing pad. And on my left hand side, there is a laptop I'm using. And I have a. Um, what do you call it? Um, microphone. There's a Blue Yeti microphone. Studio setup. I have a studio setup. There's a green screen behind me. There's not like a you know, uh, banner or face to nothing like that. Well, many of you are from different parts of UK, I believe. And um, thanks for uh, filling the form, uh, which I just made a couple of days ago and shared it in the Facebook groups. Um, I'm still admitting the students, you know, <laughs> using another keyboard uh, or mouse. Uh, you need your keyboard handy today, keyboard, which is needed for today's lecture, because you're going to answer uh, my questions and you're going to ask your questions throughout the keyboard. Yeah. Okay. So day before <coughs> yesterday, I posted that uh, form on, uh, on a couple of uh, Facebook uh, groups and on my YouTube channel as well. And uh, yesterday I closed that inquiry. So from that, many of you lovely, beautiful, knowledge-seeking people has joined today's lecture. Yes, why do I say knowledge-seeking people? people because you are seeking knowledge all around online offline and from online platform social media facebook youtube whatever it is 
we found each other. Really amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, many of you are from different parts of not just UK, also different uh, um, institutions, different, different institutions um, like um, First Intuition, Kaplan, eCarrier, even Avado, ICS Learn, different colleges, self-study students are there. And everybody was welcome in this lecture. Um, I think it's three past 10 and uh, <clears throat> I'm good to go and we can get started. Although it's approximately 20 students are here, but uh, uh, the, uh, more students, they have registered. Many students, they asked me, Elias, can I get the recorded video? Yes, you can get the recorded uh, video. Okay, people, uh, today's lecture, you need, uh, you don't need any calculator, but being an accounting student, it's good to have a calculator handy with you. It's good to have a pen and some paper with you. I have already shared the course material for today's lecture, which should be already downloaded. If it is printed out, fantastic. If it is not, it's still all right. I'm going to share my screen with you people. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now, um, uh, definitely we're going to, uh, my lectures, I, I try to keep it lively, jolly. Already accounting is dry, which is raw. It's not like, uh, it's not like, nothing much of uh, philosophical stuff uh, is really dry like uh, to watch even a movie of three hours or let's see a two hours movie it's difficult to watch the movie we go out of the theater three times and uh, lectures of accounting one hour half or one and a half hour or two hours yeah we try to keep it fruitful engaging interactive and today's lecture is going to be the same yeah you got to be participative. All of you got to be participative. I'm gonna ask you a question. Don't worry about you, whether you're getting right or wrong. You need to answer it through your keyboard. Yes, so keyboard is your friend for today. Okay, people, without wasting any more time, I'm sharing my screen with you. I hope you can see my screen. Yeah, if it is, can you please write back to me? Can you see my screen? The screen I shared with you. Okay, I'm getting some confirmation. Yes, yes, yes. Leila, Hem, Helen, Helen, Natalia, Taf, and Alicia, Pam. Fantastic. Good people are there. Shamima. Super, super, super. Fantastic. Thanks for your participation. That's how you're going to participate toward the lecture. Okay, people, a little bit about my um, profile. My name is Elias, full name is Elias Rubel. I normally spell like this. I'm a qualified uh, chartered accountant from ACCA. I'm an ACCA member, an MBA from Anglia Ruskin University, a certified accounting technician, which is uh, your AAT, but it is from ACCA. I'm an educator as well. I've been teaching accounting since 2006. So it's 15 years now. I taught ACCA, CAT, AAT, been teaching as well. Also, O-Levels, which is IGCAC accounting. A-Levels, which is level three of your AAT equivalent. And many different uh, university courses. Um, I'm, the, I'm the founder of Accounting Lecture, YouTube and online platforms are there. Just quickly showing you. This is my online um, college in front of you. This is accountinglecture.teachable.com. Uh, mostly AAT students are not much getting benefited from this school yet. Uh, mostly A-levels and GCC students are getting benefited from this um, channel, uh, uh, online uh, college. And I hope everybody, or most of you already know my YouTube channel, which is Accounting Lecture. And uh, there are plenty of uh, videos for uh, level two, three, four, um, financial accounting, management accounting, IGCC, and all, 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 the, all the items are there. Well, so that is the um, 
Oh, Jackie says, I watch your videos. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> I hope you find it uh, useful. Uh, Sami Sami is asking, do you teach ACCA? Yes, I used to teach in East London, one of the colleges, ACCA Gold Status College. Um, 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 also in abroad, I used to teach ACCA. Then I switched to um, A-levels and GCC in one of the nor North London colleges. Schools is a private school known as Best Students, by the way. Uh, maybe some of you know it. I don't know, it's a very big private school. And uh, I was the head of accounting there. Then I joined KBM. Um, KBM is a training provider of AAT and uh, um, other accounting practical providers. This course is jointly by KBM, as you see the invitation and email from KBM and from my college, uh, uh, which I personally I run with um, my other uh, qualified teachers and colleagues uh, accounting lecture. That's all from my um, side, the introductory talkie talkie. Let's come back into the core studies. I'm just checking, is there anybody into the queue? Nobody is in the queue. And yes, we are good to go. I'm just double checking the rest of the students' status. Okay. Okay. That's superb, superb. Just, I'd like to say you one thing. Yeah, thanks for asking your question through the chatting box. I am giving you answers from uh, the questions of the chatting box, which you're going to do throughout the lecture anyway. Uh, because this is online lecture, there are some pros and cons of online lecture. Obviously, you don't need to travel in this pandemic time of COVID. So you don't have the chance of getting COVID. And you don't need to spend in TFL if you're in London. And if you're out of London and no transport cost, and you don't need to drive. So these are the good sides. You can sit back home and enjoy your tea or coffee, enjoy your lecture. Also even you can do a little bit of household works, isn't it? Yeah, check out your kids if they're. <laughs> and <laughs> one of my, uh, oh, fantastic. I need say is fasting. Oh, so that's me, I'm fasting as well today. Uh, so no coffee for me. Uh, and um, <laughs> that's not a problem, but we are a very lively and uh, focused lecture. One of my students said, oh, Elias, I, 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 when I stayed home and do online lectures, I can change my bin and even clean my kitchen. I said, wow, can you <laughs> even clean your kitchen? <laughs> okay, these are the good sides of your online lectures. But what are the bad sides? Because this is technology, I already told you, I have a setup here camera in front of me. On my left hand side is a laptop. I have a, what do you call a <clears throat> big writing pad in front of me. An internet connection as well, of course. Anytime it can get disrupted. Although it never happened, it barely happened. It happens though, yeah? Uh, if it happens, don't worry. Just within five minutes, it can be sorted. If anything happens like, ooh, if I'm not talking, if there's uh, it's, it's blank, or anything that happens, it's going to be sorted within five minutes time, not more than that. If you feel that type of problem, email me uh, the email you received yesterday from me, kbm.lecture at gmail.com. Yeah, that is our, uh, more students are still joining in. It's 12 past 10. Okay, so that's all from my side, in, uh, my introduction and uh, how uh, the lecture gonna go ahead. And uh, as I told you, uh, be ready with your pen and some paper. And uh, if those are printed better, yesterday I sent you, if it is not at least uh, on screen should be there. I'm going to share the screen anyway. I'm going to share the questions anyway. So just focus on the screen, on your screen. If you're using laptop, fantastic. If it is a mobile device, still better. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, maybe some of you are traveling. Maybe some of you don't have that access of uh, laptop, desktop. Any device would be fine. People, my natural norm is generally, I ask uh, all my students before I start, a gentle uh, checking the enthusiasm meter from my students. So the meter is, I ask one question and expect the answers from everybody. And the, the question for, I'm ask, going to ask you, are you ready to start? Write me something. 
Are you ready to start? Write me, please. Annie says, yes. Jackie says, yes. Sammy, yes. Vida, yes. Shamima, yes. Edita, Olesa, MAG 10 plus 5G. I don't know who are you. <laughs> okay, Helen, yes. Vidya, yes. Who else? Come on. Come on. Don't be lazy. Yeah, yes. Yes, something. Write down something, yeah? Okay. Okay, let's get started with the synoptic revision class. I have already sent you three, yeah, three documents. One is this in front of me. This is the one, sample assessment and mark scheme. So this is uh, sample assessment one. We have ethics here and a couple of spreadsheet, which we are going to go over. One spreadsheet you're going to go over because of the timing. <clears throat> but how is your exam structure? I'd like to start with the exam structure. Let's get started with the exam structure. So this is your in front of your exam structure. Although this is three hours exam, you generally get two or 45 minutes for two parts. The exam is how many parts? Two parts. Part one, look at this. And as you already know that AAT, you get 70% to pass your exams. Your synoptic is two part. Part one, everybody knows it already. Part one is all about your what? Write me. Come on. Part one is about, yes, ethics. Yeah. Part one is, thank you, Aini. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah, that's how you need to participate later on. I'm just putting you into the accelerator, you know. <laughs> part one is ethics. And part two, <clears throat> Is yes, there you go. Every, everybody knows it. Part two is your spreadsheet or Excel. Spreadsheet or MS Excel, Microsoft Excel. These are your two part exam. Well, people, for both of the parts, you have three hours, and both of the parts you need to pass separately. You already know because you are um, all of you, I believe, are from. Um, Facebook group. Um, one is AT UK study support. Another I shared in independent group. So you already know by that time that from September, there is getting a change in your synoptic. Your of Z, now we call it AVSY, advanced synoptic. Same thing, just name is changing ADSY. What is changing from September? The spreadsheet will not be tested in the synoptic. It will be tested separately in a spreadsheet exam. But your synoptic is still there. Why synoptic is a hectic exam? It's a combination of five modules. Ethics and spreadsheet is anyway there. Two modules are there. You have two separate books, whether BPT, Kaplan, Osborne, or uh, First Intuition, the uh, LSBF, any other premier training you're using, uh, course material, spreadsheet and ethics. You already have two modules, books which you need to cover, knowledge should be gathered. Practice, lots of practice, make yourself competent, do a few mock exam, minimum three, and pass your exam. But hold on, in the spreadsheet, you need to know the knowledge of three more module. In the spreadsheet, you need to know the knowledge of three more module, your management, accounting, costing, MMAC, we call it, yeah? The first, under a spreadsheet, there are two questions. I'm going to show you what are the ethics. You get three questions. Spreadsheet, you get two questions. So for this five question, you get three hours, two separate exams in one sitting. Yeah, and timings are different as well. Approximately 80 minutes for ethics and 100 minutes for your spreadsheet. That is your 180 minutes. That is the approximate. And once you finish, listen to me carefully. Once you finish your ethics, let's assume question number one, two, three, you finished completed, submitted, you jumped into the spreadsheet, that's it, you can't go back to your ethics. Does it make sense, yeah? Yeah, so, um, and then you get started with the spreadsheet. Be careful with the spreadsheet, there are two questions which you need to do at first, download, and then, <coughs> excuse me, then save it in a particular format, which I'm gonna show you. Yeah, your initial, uh, uh, then dash surname, dash AT number, dash, uh, the date and the question number. Uh, so XLS format, you need to uh, uh, save it and upload on the system. Well, so this is the two part. 
it is finished. You do the Excel a spreadsheet. It is done and upload it in a correct format. Okay, that's it. Now, in your spreadsheet, you need to know the knowledge of your three modules, management accounting costing, AVBK, advanced bookkeeping, and FAPR, final accounts preparation. So that's how it becomes hectic. You need to know the ethics. You need to know the Excel. These are two already. Ethics is a dry draw. People like students, like they get bored. Yeah, like, oh, too much of studies. I don't want to read. <laughs> okay, what this is really common sense. Today we're going to practice. You will see all the answers you're going to give me. In fact, I would be expecting, but I will go through the explanation. Ethics is common sense, but there are minimum 50% items in the ethics, which you need to learn by heart. Another good news is ethics, uh, code of um, um, ethical codes and the principles, threats, these will be available on the exam day. This will, what do you mean by available? I hope everybody has done indirect tax, or if it is not, it, these will be available in a pop-up box. Yeah, ethical code of conducts, then principles, and then threats. These will be available on the exam. You can check it out. Scroll up and down. The knowledge, you can check it out. My suggestion, learn it in advance from where, whatever book you are doing. Yeah, practice it. And then you can answer straight away confidently and save your time. Although you can see the ethical bit, those are answers from the uh, exam day, uh, from the pop-up pop box scroll up and down my suggestion yet again learn it at first steps so <clears throat> because this is a combination of five module students think this is hectic actually it is not i will prove it today you gonna see ah that's nice yeah but yes if you don't have the knowledge and practice of spreadsheet um, it is not going to be easy yeah and the knowledge of management accounting costing, advanced bookkeeping and final accounts preparation. You need to know how to do, um, you know, the budgeting. You need to know the knowledge of uh, maybe <clears throat> partnership. Yeah. So those might be tested under the format of a uh, spreadsheet. So people, there are 100 marks, 45 marks. Look at the screen. You can always follow the screen. Yeah. Question one, two, three from ethics is 15, 15, 15, 45 marks are there. I would say 80 minutes for this. That's it. Not more than that. Then you jump in it. Even if you save some time in ethics, you can't get those times in a spreadsheet. Separate timing is there. And there are 55 marks here. Question number one and question number two. So that is your exam structure. Yeah, make sure one good idea is to sit in such a computer which has two desktop, two screen, two screen. Many organizations, uh, colleges, they do have many, some they don't have. One screen is better to have your questions on the left and left screen and right screen is better to have your, uh, what do you call the answers, okay? So um, this is the ethics book from BPP. I, uh, I have been using many, many course mod materials, but uh, BPP, they have four chapters, similar chapters in Osborne, Kaplan, or any other, um, what do you call it, uh, course providers and materials. Then there's a spreadsheet as well, um, introduction and advanced. In BPP, although they give four chapters, basically two chapters is the same thing one is under excel 10 one is under excel 13 even it could be 19 even it could be seven it depends which excel you are practicing and which excel is available in your um exam center make sure you're familiar with the excel which one is given in your exam center yeah i'm understood yeah make sure you're familiar 13 10 these are more popular and that's all that is our uh more last uh talky talky regarding the exam structure and what are you gonna uh more students still joining in you know hope they're gonna watch the recorded video this will be recorded uploaded as well well today's ex ex uh, class structure is we start at 10 o'clock 10 a.m we started from 10 a.m this is introduction and it's 10 23 so 
I would say 1025, we're going to start our core lecture, which is uh, ethics, ethics revision, basically, from the synoptic assessment, sample assessment of uh, officially AAT, which I gave you yesterday. And I'd like to finish it within some maybe, yes, 30 minutes, not more than that, before 11. So somewhere 11-ish, I'm going to start spreadsheet. Which is one of the uh, mock exam module, maybe one. We're going to practice. OK, I hope uh, you got a clear idea regarding. Yeah, and uh, somewhere 1130, we're going to finish. So approximately one hour, 30 minutes um, is the lecture, revision lecture. And we're going to uh, practice plenty of ethics, uh, ethical uh, items. And uh, those uh, spreadsheets are there. We're going to uh, practice. There is no, still, as I said, students are joining in. Uh, there's no break. One hour, 30 minutes, finish, yeah? If it had been a three hour lecture, I would have given you half an hour break or 25 minutes break, maybe another uh, free lecture, we're gonna do it. Okay, so I hope everybody is uh, ready with the, if this is printed in front of you, which is great. Uh, if it is not, still you can see my um, screen. I'm going to ask you all the, all the, most of the questions you need to participate, I'll give you hints, yeah? So your keyboard is your friend for today. Uh, I'm going to put my video down and everybody's video down. That ain't gonna distract us because we're going to focus in the exam question. So video is down. And uh, uh, hold on. Okay, we can put your videos down. My video is off anyway. Uh, everybody can put their videos down. But uh, the voice should be clear and um, the screen sharing should be uh, clear as well. There we go. We are getting started. A little bit more here is mentioned in this, which you already know because you have done many, many 80 exams already. Yeah, decimal is a decimal. Comma is not a decimal. You already know it. You don't need to put a comma. If you put a comma, that's still all right. Yep. So scenario 1.1 is based on workplace scenario. 1.2, 1.3, uh, 1.3, and 2.1, 2.3 is based on a BLM. BLM is the company which we are going to do today. BLM is the company. So let's a little bit read the scenario here. You are a part qualified accounting technician working for BLM and company, a business which manufactures and sells sinks. Bathroom items could be, yes, yeah, sinks, yeah. Wash your hands to avoid COVID. BLM and company is owned and run by Brian and Luckmany Moore in partnership. In British, British pronunciation is Lakmani more. <laughs> I say Lakmani, yeah? Indian pronunciation or Bang Bangladeshi pronunciation is Lakmani. It looks like a Desi name, like Indian name. Well, you, you cover all aspects of bookkeeping and accounting for the business, along with Jade Mellon, who is responsible for particular, in particular for completing the VAT return. Now, who are you? You are accounting technician. Whether needed or not, it's good to keep the scenario in your head very well. You are accounting technician, great. There's someone called Jade Mellon who is responsible for VAT return. So already two people you found it, isn't it? People number one is you. People number two is uh, a, Mr. Jade, who is a VAT, who looks after the VAT of uh, BLM company. Yeah, you are accountant of v BLM doing the, um, what doing bookkeeping only and finally here one more paragraph only a small sentence blm company also use a service of ado and company a firm of accountants who are they they are external accountant yeah external firm we call it practice accountant in practice yeah and jade and i means i'm the accounting technician we are working in the business so we are accountant in business 
Kiera Jackson is the accountant at Adwin Company who carries out tasks for BLM. So there are another person, person number three, who is an external accountant for BLM and Company. And I think uh, external accountants are really qualified. Like once you become um, 80 qualified level four, you can become an external accountant. You can do your own practice and um, tax services, VAT services, uh, auditing services. Yes, uh, unless you are chartered, you can't do the... Um, external auditing signature, yeah, authorization, uh, but you still can work as a, a supervisor manager of external auditing. Well, that is our scenario so far. Boom, boom, there we go. Task 1.1, people, what did I say regarding um, uh, task 1.1? I'd like to show you a little bit. Still students are joining in. Hope they will find it useful later on. A little bit I'd like to show you. You know, uh, I missed that bit here. I'd like to mention here. <clears throat> Your question number one would be pick list, drag and drop, gap fill. Yeah, ethics. Question number two, a little bit of calculation. A little bit of various advanced bookkeeping skills, a little bit of calculation, advanced bookkeeping and final accounts preparation. So, and again, pick list, drag and drop, gap fill. And task number three, sometimes students find it challenging. We'll make it very easy today while practicing. Um, it is a email, could be report writing written. Yeah, report could be memorandum, email, these sort of stuffs, uh, writing skills. Yeah, I will, I will let you know how to gain full marks in writing. If it is a four marks, how to get four marks. If it's six marks, how to get six marks uh, in, in just 10, 20 minutes time. Yeah. Okay. So you got to be ready with the, this is going to be standalone question for, is uh, purely on prof, uh, uh, actions, unethical behavior, illegal acts on this type of question, uh, you can expect the knowledge. Yeah. Second question, a bit of calculation and more of advanced book in a final accounts preparation. And thirdly, it again could be from anywhere, but it's a, a report writing. Yeah. Get ready, everybody. I'm reading the question for you. Task number 1.1 for 15 marks. This particular A is for two marks. This task is about ethics for accountants. Are the following statements true or false? There are one and two reading. Number one, accountants have no duty to act in public interest provided they act in the interest of their employer and the accountancy profession. <clears throat> what do you think? Give me the answer, true or false. Accounting has no duty to the public. They just work for their company. <laughs> My company is leaving, I'm leaving. Everybody says false. How can I deny? 100% correct, see? Thank you, everybody. Lovely people are there. Uh, many, many students, Himal, Shamima, Natalia, Vita, Uche, uh, Vidya, Aini, Jackie, all of you answered, all of you are right. I really appreciate your effort and keep going like this throughout the lecture. Number two. The code of professional ethics provides detailed rules on detailed rules, yeah, on how to act in every possible situation, every possible situation. Yeah, now students already started giving me the answer with their Natalia and uh, Annie Uche and uh, accountant that might uh, encounter and Jackie. Uh, other people, please do participate, yeah? Don't be shy, yeah, don't worry even if you get, get it wrong, Helen, Vita, Sami, yeah, is that how you say your name? S A M M I, Sami, Pam. That's absolutely false. You know why? Now, detailed rules in every possible situation is not possible. Yeah, Shamima, that's true. Yeah, I mean, false is the right answer. So, in UK, we follow principles based approach, not the rules based. Let me write not rules. Yeah, we do, uh, USA, they follow the rules, absolute uh, critical rules they need to follow. In UK, we accountant can exercise our own judgment and the situation, based on the situation, our, our decision could be uh, different. So that is absolutely false answer. Well done. You got two marks in your pocket. You must be happy and keep going, reading the next question. You know, that's how we are going to discuss um, all the uh, alternative items and hope it will build your knowledge of ethics as well. Ethics are based on values which are demonstrated in behavior. Sometimes there is conflict between personal and organizational values which needs to be resolved. Let's talk about it. Like personal means let's, you are an accountant, you are very ethical, you want to give equal rights, fairness, objectivity, and um, 
you're a very ethical person. You're objective. You're not being uh, um, uh, biased, and you you don't take any bribe or nothing like that. And your organizational values can go along with you your thoughts or can go against your thoughts. They cannot may they may follow something else. They may be aggressive or they may may be loyal. It depends which needs to be resolved. So there is can be a conflict. You are a person and your organization is a company you work for, your values getting um, conflicted against your organization, which can very well be, or it can be matched with your, your values, with your organization value, then you must be happy. Ooh, my organization is really ethical and is um, their value uh, goes along with my value. I'm happy to work for this type of organization. Reading the question, an accountant who is employed by a large organization personally values loyalty and fairness highly so you know the person accountant he believes in loyalty and fairness being loyal to your customers not just customers employees and anybody yeah and treat everybody fairly don't do any unjust that is the belief of the accountant now let's see what is in the requirement number b for a couple of marks in the table below identify where there is conflict between the organization's behavior and the accountant's personal value. Now, these two are organization's behavior and person's value you already know. Person is very loyal, very uh, fair and good guy. We love you anyway, if you are that type of uh, person. Hello people, can you hear me? Where is my, yes, okay, okay. Oh, my something. Uh, okay, oh, that's all right. Um, you know, that uh, uh, one bar, the talking bar just uh, disappeared. I thought <laughs> I thought uh, something went wrong. Anyway, that's great. Great. Let's keep going. Now, what is the organization's behavior? Organization gives long-standing employees an extra half-day holiday, means old employees for every two years. They remain with the organization. Accountant's value is loyal. An organization looks like loyal as well. So do you think, is there any conflict to resolve? What do you think? Is there any conflict to resolve between your organization and your very good people? It's a reign of answer. They, everybody says no. Absolutely right answer. No is the right answer. Well done. The organization is loyal to its uh, people and accountants values are loyal as well. Well done. Next one. Number two, promotes employees on the basis of family or other close relationship that is a bad practice isn't it yeah like giving favor to your family members or friends and uh, is are they fa fair the, uh, the organization is not fair so is there any conflict to resolve everybody says yes answer is yes Lila, Goody, Sang, Helen, Uche, Shamima, Natalia, Vidya, uh, Vita, fantastic all of you are correct Aini, uh, Pam, most of you are uh, well done. Uh, maybe I don't, can't quote uh, everybody's name, but um, yes, there is a conflict to resolve. That is our right answer. I'd like to check our answers while. Okay, hold on. These two are false, no, and yes, and you get one one mark. That is absolutely the right answer. Well done. Very good. Good going. Let's read the next one. An accountant has been offered gifts. Now, let me tell you something about gifts. Now, if it is a very small, very small, negligent, immaterial, like you are an external auditor, you went for an auditing and been offered to share a snacks, just a samosa or maybe pasti, chicken pasti, that is all right, out of two pound or coffee, two pound, three pound, that is all right. As a gift, that is, you can say all right there. This, this is not the hamper of your prejudice or nothing ethical, uh, ethically wrong. It is not a threat. But how about the gift is very big? It, very often you're going to get you're going to get examples of a box office ticket, which is worth of maybe five hundred pound box office. You know, Premier League ticket or even IPL or, or Lord's Crown. Yeah, so ticket. Of course, it is a very big money, and you might be biased towards them, isn't it? Yeah. So that is prohibited. This is allowed. Smaller is allowed. 
or, or maybe a holiday in Dubai, three nights, four days holiday, or maybe somewhere in, nobody wants to go nowadays in uh, like uh, Europe or even America. I think Dubai is still safe <laughs> because of COVID, isn't it? Okay. Um, so let's keep reading. The sales manager, one of his employer's main supplier. Uh, accountant has been offered gifts by the sales manager. Yeah, it's a supplier as well. The accountant has known the sales manager for several years. Now for several years gives what type of uh, threat give me? Several years, you know, a person, a client. Yeah, fantastic with the Natalia, Vita, Laila. All of you are right. It is familiarity, Shamima. Thank you. Definitely. No doubt it is a familiarity. And it's, it's, you know them more than three years. It's a familiarity threat. Of if the guy is your family member, friends, um, they, they are your, uh, fam, uh, that gives rise to family, a familiarity threat as well. Let me read the question for a couple of marks. Complete the following statement by selecting the correct option below. Being offered gifts by the sales manager is what? to the accountant's fundamental principle of what? So in option one, you have uh, given two and here two. So do you think this is an intimidati intimidation or family threat? Already you gave me that answer. This is a family threat. What is an intimidation threat yet? Yeah. Now, when you're being pressurized from your top bosses, even it could be our ex external people, like you've been pressurized to do something which is unethical, even could be illegal. Let's talk about these two things. One is unethical. Unethical. Unethical can still be legal, but illegal is illegal. Illegal acts are prohibited, could be imprisoned or fine. That's for, for number one. And number two, uh, option gap for number two to accountants fundamental principle of. Yeah, I do agree with everybody. Natalia, Pam, Shamima, I knew Vidya. Everybody says objectivity. Yeah, you might be become biased, isn't it? Yeah, objectivity means, what is the meaning of objectivity? Many students, they struggle sometimes. Objectivity means unbiased. You will not be biased towards someone like you giving them extra favor. Yeah, you got to show your objectivity. Con cannot be subjective. You got to be unbiased. If you take the gift, you might be biased. You might give him the favor, give him any discount. He's your supplier, isn't he? Yeah. Nothing to do with the competence. Competence is um, like you, whether you are uh, good enough to uh, carry out the job or not. And do you care whether you're taking care of your client well or not? So, yeah, of course, it is not possible to explain all the items, but as much as you can do, it's uh, better. Yeah, and I will be doing two marks in your pocket. For three marks, I'm going to read this scenario first. And are the following statements true or false? So in your head, you've got to think one, two, three, true or false, reading the question. Yeah, not influenced, I need thank you, not influenced by any other people. An accountant works for a large company. <clears throat> Excuse me. A potential customer of the company has asked the accountant to reveal confidential information ooh, about the company's cost structure and pricing. The potential customer has offered to pay accountant. Ooh. Now, this payment might be, uh, the accountant might be interested. This is a bribe type of stuff or what interest? This is a kind of self-interest, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, confidential information being asked by outsider in return of some money. So, of course, this is unethical. You would say no. Let's read the questions now. That was the scenario. The question could be very well different. I don't know what are the questions. Number one, question number one. The accountant may never disclose confidential information to any third party. What do you think? Everybody thinks that this is false. I do agree with you, false. Okay, and in what situation you can disclose your information? If it is national threat, if it is money laundering, ML, money laundering, if it is uh, terrorism, something, terror something, isn't it? Of course, public interest, it is against, heavily against law, drug trafficking, money laundering. No, no, you don't need any client's consent for this type of stuff, uh, Uche. Yeah, I'm coming back to the client's consent in a minute. For the national threat, money laundering, uh, then um, 
uh, drug trafficking, terrorist, uh, something. You, you are an accountant and you found in your organization the bosses or employees are involved in this type of acts. Straight tell to the NCA, National Crime Agency or police. Yeah, that's how you can. And yes, with the consent, like uh, we are changing. Another, another time you can disclose the confidential information. For example, um, I'm an auditor of a company. Auditor. auditor means part of accountant as well. And I'm resigning from this company. Another auditor is going to join. Now, I being existing auditor or old auditor, I need to reveal the information to the new auditor or the coming auditor. In that case, the confidential information I need to pass, my company's confidential information I need to pass to the other auditor with the consent of the company, isn't it? <laughs> yes. But let, let's talk about consent a little more. I hope everybody knows what is a tipping off. Can, can you please write back, write me what is a tipping off before I read number two, three or any other? What is it? What do you mean by tipping off? Informing the client. Yes, good. Good, Alicia. I'll take your answer. But what actually? Like letting your client know or alerting your client alerting your client what do you mean by alerting your client now let's assume you're an accountant yes i mean i will go along with that ml example uh uh your your client may be involved in ml money laundering and you came to know that yes your client is doing money laundering now if you tell your client or alert your client you mr client like you're telling your client your boss you're doing or client your sir or madam you are doing it wrong you are doing money laundering this is called tipping off. Like you are letting your client know that you being an accountant aware of money laundering that being happening in the organization. You don't let them know. You tell the uh, MLR, MLRO, money laundering reporting officer, MLRO, yeah? Or could be if it is a small company uh, uh, like NCA, MLRO for big companies, isn't it? Yeah, National Crime Agency or even police. Yeah, if it is something to do VAT, they are hiding, uh, let the note, let this know to HMRC. I hope you understood what is a tipping off. Uh, this is like something like I give you, I give a deadly example. You, you all, all of you already know what is a dead, dead click. I have a very small video on it. We accountants very often give examples with dead, deadly examples. Let me give you another deadly example, killing example, like. <laughs> With tipping off, I'd like to give you one quick example. You uh, ha went to Scotland, for example, let's see, uh, Crane Groom Mountains, uh, Highland, you went to Highland, and you saw one group of mafia, they are dealing with drugs and selling drugs in that area. You saw it. I even there, Russian mafia and ooh, unbelievable. I don't know, are you from Russia or not? <laughs> Russia is uh, famous for mafia and all. And they, they, let's go further, deadly, as I said, they killed someone and you saw the every, um, uh, all these things happened. And one of the bad guy from that group saw you as well. Ah, oh, that you have seen, witnessed everything. Then, then they will be after your life. I mean, you need to act blind, don't you? You need to act blind. Oh, I'm blind. I didn't see anything. Or run, run for you with your life from that place. Go to safe and call triple nine and Scottish uh, year would be there. So this is called tipping off. Act as blind. Uh, uh, don't let your client know that you know everything and tell please. This is the part of tipping off. Well, 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 moving on to our questions. We have taken enough time. Uh, authorized and protected disclosure. Could you please explain those two um, uh, things? Where, where is that from, um, Alicia? Or maybe in the question, just so hold on. When you're authorized to do so, you can uh, do it. Authorized means uh, even given the consent from the bosses. Yeah. And protected disclosure, some of the informations are protected. Generally, you can't disclose those, but if it is against the law and uh, national uh, security, you must disclose this, these items. Hope it helps. Number two, the threat. Oh, that's all right, Alessia. Yeah, that's what I just discussed. The threat that the accountant is facing to her compliance, so it's a lady accountant, 
uh, with the fundamental principle is self-interest. Do you agree with that? The threat here. Yeah. Natalia says true. Laila, Shamima, everybody says true. Vidya. Yeah, this is a self-interest because there's a payment being offered. Vita, this is definitely true. Okay, number three, the accountant must resign immediately, must resign, they said, from the company as her integrity has been compromised. Do you think so? Yeah, no, no, no. She doesn't need to. She didn't take the offer. Yes, Vidya, because he just she just got the offer. She didn't take it. She has other different options. Talk to the owners, talk to the MLRO, talk to the... Um, committee, ethics committee, if there is any, um, uh, talk to the even uh, outsiders, yeah, or take help from the uh, head of the department. So that can give you the full marks, three marks. Reading the next question, an accountant is following the conflict of resolution process in the code. Now, you already know what is a conflict when between two parties, there is a disagreement. Yeah, or not always disagreement, like um, conflicting. You are if you are an accountant working for two clients, client one and client two, or client A and client B, your your work and both of these clients are rival companies. So there is a chance from you that their confidential information could be transferred to each other. Let's assume you work for A one and two. You are an accountant. You visited two someday. And in, in gossip, you disclosed some information from one. Be very careful. You can't do it. You can face um, penalty and imprisonment, even uh, even imprisonment on this title if it is very heavy. Yeah. So this is a, a big confidentiality uh, matter here. Okay, let's keep reading Code of Ethical Ethics in Respect of an Ethical Dilemma. He has collected evidence and documents processed carefully so he can seek guidance on the dilemma or dilemma from another accountant. Complete the following statement by selecting one of the options below. So there's an ethical problem between two companies and you are the accountant of both of these companies. In relation to the evidence, and you have so many evidence and documents in with you, the accountant must be particularly careful to ensure the fundamental principle of what, I hope everybody knows it by now, I already gave it. Uh, yes, yes, people are answering is not breached. Yeah, you must be very careful with this. Definitely confidentiality is right answer. Thank you people for giving me the right answer. This is nothing to do with competence and professional behavior. Let's quickly check these answers. Familiarity and objectivity was correct. And uh, this is false, true, false. And a little bit of fear is confidentiality. Wow, two marks only for this one. Very good. iPhone said con as well. iPhone, you're right. But iPhone, what is your name? <laughs> OK, someone has joined from iPhone. I don't know the name. The name appeared as iPhone. Number F. An accountant has a client who has been involved in concealing criminal property. Concealing is a part of ML, yeah? At first you try to conceal, then you do layering, and uh, then finally you show it as a legitimate source of income. I'm not going in deep detail with ML. Uh, the accountant has reported the client to the relevant authority, so has told the client this, and has told, oh my goodness, has told the client this, okay told the client this okay what did uh, he do wrong yeah everybody knows it this is the tipping off this is what i was talking about tipping off yeah this is wrong yeah you can't let the client know that you have seen the merger to be happened <laughs> okay next one and uh, accountant is a sole practitioner sole practitioner be careful with that this is not a limited llp or plc or not even partnership yeah this alternate. She has discovered that the client has been money has has been money laundering. Complete the sentence on one option for a couple of marks. Uh, the accountant should uh, disclose the information to. Already, I got an answer. Uh, people are saying NCA. Why it is NCA? Why it is NCA? Why not MLRO? Or of course, it will not be a HMRC because this is a small company, sole practitioner. You see, I already um, I already told that you need to memorize. Yes, Uche, thank you for good answer. MLRO is for big company, you know? MLRO is for LLP, limited liability, L, L, LTD, sorry, L, 
TD. Not the liberal IP, LTD, Limited Liability Company, PLC, or even could be partnership, yeah? That they keep a, a, a money laundering reporting office officer, yeah, MLRO, because he's not working in a firm of accountant. Basically, the good answer is um, small practitioners are very small. They can't afford to keep another person for MLRO reporting officer, so they don't have it. For that type of reason, uh, you straight uh, report it to the National Crime Agency. These are given in your course materials, so you need to memorize it, learn it by heart. Oh, that's all. We've done our question number one. And uh, let's see whether we are right or not. Yeah, this is ticking off two marks and National Crime Agency. Well done. <clears throat> let's move to question <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, don't worry. I'm not uh, going to spread anything because we are online, yeah? Um, okay, question number two, a little bit of calculation you can see for 15 marks. Let's straight jump into it. And uh, before I read the question, I'll always read the requirement. That's a good way of doing your answer. So we already can see there is some information, a T account or a VD control. I'm going to go deep in detail. A couple of uh, items there. What is the question? After the journals are processed, what, what will be the revised balance carried down on VAT control? Maybe a couple of mistakes, errors I can see. Yes, I would, I'd like to show you from here. You know, in the question number two, we're doing question number two. You can expect recognized ethically identifications, take various advantage, uh, advanced bookkeeping skills, which you're going to do in a minute. Um, accounting the course. Yeah, these are the things. Yeah, this style. So they should have written it here. Errors. Errors comes very, very often. I've seen it. So there could be some errors and make it correct. That's it. So, so a couple of marks. Let's do this one right now. This task is based on the Workplace BLM company. Today's date is 15th for April, April 2017. BLM and companies VAT control. So people, I hope everybody knows what is a VAT control account. VAT is a credit account. You agree with me? Yep, credit account. VAT is a liability account generally. So if you are liable to pay VAT to HMRC, it is on the credit side. If your VAT goes up on the credit side and what those can be income. All your income VAT is liability. You write on the credit side, like, like sales is income. Income or less in expense, like purchase return. You are liable by these sorts of amount to HMRC. And balance VAT means at the beginning of the month, you are quarter, you're liable by that much. And what uh, on the debit side, we write expense. The VAT you can claim, which VAT that makes your VAT down. You can claim back from HMRC expense VAT. Yeah, expense VAT. Why is I'm going coming back in the cash book in a minute? Purchase is an expense. Sales return is a reduction in expense uh, income. Expense or reduction in income, whatever you say is the same way. So you can claim these VATs from HMRC. I'm asking everybody here, what is this cash book? Sixty thousand eight eight zero point nine eight. Think about it and give me the answer. I will help you anyway. What is the double entry of it? What do you think? And what is this? Give me that answer. Anybody? Money paid from to HMRC. Super. Well done, Lila. This is, uh, uh, yeah, Vidya, thank you. Money paid to HMRC. Absolutely. Let's see. It's a, say it's a bank. Now, let's just, let me do the double entry. You, you, you always think from your business's behalf, yeah, BLM's behalf. So you're doing accounting for BLM. BLM has paid that much money. So their bank account going down, your bank credit 60,880.98, and opposite account is debit, which is VT control account debit. Yeah. In a cash book, cash bank both comes in. That means, now let me explain everything. Everybody knows it, I hope so, by the time, but because this is a revision, this class is for every student, yeah? Not just for the good students, for average, for weak, all students. So at the beginning, you owe VAT 60,880.98 to HMRC. Let's assume that is first date of the month. And this is sixth, on sixth, or this is first, the dates are given. On sixth, you paid that much of VAT, yeah? Whatever you owe to HMRC, you paid it. And the rest is happening in the end, end date. Like from sales, you collected VAT, you are liable. This could be number three. Then purchase return could be number four, more liability. This could be number five, entry number five, entry number six. Then you do total, entry number seven is total. And then finally you do balance CD, BD, 
which is eight. My next question to everybody, what is this balance CD? Uh, let's assume this is right so far. Is this a VAT due to or due from HMRC? I need says, and Laila says due to, uh, and go, go Helen Godi saying, Sammy, everybody says, of course, this is due to it becomes liability on the other side. Balance CD becomes balance BD on the other side. Six, one, whatever, whatever, whatever. In your trial balance, you transfer this balance BD. We call it balance BD on the credit side. Hope it makes sense. And this type of question you can expect in a minute. Let me read the two corrections, errors, in fact. On reviewing BLM Company's uh, day book, you have found two errors. Let's read it very carefully. VAT of some amount, VAT, this is VAT, yeah? On sales, so this is sales VAT, income VAT, was wrongly recorded as what? Sales, not as VAT. Ah, that's not good. You can't put the VAT into the sales. You need to put the VAT into the VAT account, don't you? So how do you make it correct? You need to put this, did you put this VAT into the VAT account? Answer is no. You put in the sales account. I to make it correct, by the way. Although that long way is not needed. Um, sales, you already put on the sales credit this amount. Now you make your sales debit and VAT credit. That's the double entry. I repeat, sales debit, VAT credit. You can rewind the video and check it out one more time if you need more help. But that's how we're going to do. This VAT going to go here. 2983.50, I believe that is the answer. Yeah, 2983.50, 298, yeah. <clears throat> That's how you corrected it. We processed the journal. VAT control credit, sales debit. You can write your STV or sales. Either going to do the job, STV. Okay. And then second one, supplier had overstated, again, VAT by 50 on an invoice received and supplier supplier are you buying from or selling to who is your supplier you are buying from isn't it so it's a purchase related and it's a vat it is overstated 50 or unreceived or whatever so actually what is the mistake you have done this 50 you have shown it here 50 is higher. This amount is higher by 50. You need overstated. You need to make it down, don't you? I hope everybody's understanding, yeah? Is it making sense, yeah? This, uh, I'm repeating here, supplier whom you're buying from, your bought has overstated the VAT by 50. So the VAT is overstated by 50. Make it down by writing on the opposite side. In accounting, it's in T accounts, we don't do, how do you do plus minus? By writing it the debit or credit side, isn't it? So here we need to minus it. <clears throat> so by writing in on that credit side, 50 more on the credit side. Can you, anybody give me the revised answer here? After the journals are processed, what will be the revised balance? Yeah, I, I can help you. How do you do the revised balance? Just add one, two, three, and this two, and get a new total. And write the new total here. And from this new total, take away, take away these three things. Yeah. Well done. Thank you, Aini. Aini got one answer. I'd like to wait for more people's answer. Aini says it's, oh, very good. Natalia says the same answer as Aini. They're saying it is 645.15.63 or comma 63. Aini, be careful. Yeah, it's 0.63, I believe so. Because, yeah, it's not a comma. Yeah, don't, uh, yeah, yeah. We can't, we can't afford to lose our marks with a comma and uh, decimal places, yeah, uh, in the exam. Because of silly mistakes, we can't afford to lose our marks. Yeah, great. Let's let you see. Okay, I don't understand the 2983 on the credit. Okay, I'm just going to repeat in a minute one more time this one. I'm reading it. If you watch the video one more time, it will make sense. Let's read a VAT of that much amount on sales. VAT on sales should go generally on the credit side. But what happened was wrongly recorded as sales, not as a VAT. Be careful, not. It was not recorded as VAT. It was recorded as sales. Maybe on the sales account already you have many, many sales. I don't know, maybe one million pound of sales. Then this much amount you also recorded 
in the sales account, not in the VAT account, very wrong. You can't do it. Yeah, you need to record it into the VAT account. That's why you record in the VAT account. Hope it helps. Yeah, watch it one more time and uh, it will make more sense. I hope it has made already um, sense to you. Let's check the answers. That is well done. Boom, good answer. Now complete the following sentence, selecting this, this balance will appear. Is it debit balance or credit balance? Come on. This is a, what balance? Yes, absolutely credit balance. The balance BD on the credit side. Don't get confused that, oh, balance CD on the debit side, it should be a debit. No, I already discussed this, that this is a credit balance. Hold on for one mark. You're going good. Reading the next one for you. A scenario, you discover that the BLM and company has been supplying sinks to Malone Limited, a company owned and run by, ooh, there is a problem, brother of your fully qualified colleague, Jade Mellon, familiarity threats coming in, yeah? Our company is selling goods to a, a, such a company, which is owned by our accountant, uh, the VAT account, you remember, at the beginning of read it. When you look at the relevant invoices, you realize that Jade Mellon has misrecording VAT so that BLM company sales to Mellon Limited overstated very bad Mr. Jade Mellon. You can't do it. As a result, Mellon Limited qualifies. Uh, look at this. Jade Mellon is giving favor to his brother or her brother. <laughs> okay. 15% trade discount. Mm, that's why you're doing misrecording. That's very bad on its future purchases from the BLM. Now, let's keep reading the question for a couple of marks. Rec the requirement here, the applying the conceptual framework from the ethical code, which of the following describes the situation faced by Jade Mellon when recording sales to his brother's company. So is it a self-review threat, professional company? Is it a, uh, a familiarity threat? Yeah, yeah, everybody should have done it. Yeah, we don't need to read even the next one. This is definitely familiarity. We have said it even some at, at the big, uh, somewhere in my lecture, isn't it? Next one. You conclude that the deliberate misrecording V8 is unethical, definitely unethical. This is very bad conduct by Jade Mellon. What should you do in the next one to send a suspicion activity report to Woo, National Crime Agency? <laughs> I can tell Brian and Lakmani about uh, your... Uh, what do you think? People, uh, many students, they get confused here. Shall we tell the agency or like money and more? Yeah, you better tell the, uh, this is internal matter. This is nothing to do money laundering. This is nothing very serious. This is really internal. Tell the bosses. Like money and Brian are bosses. So tell them. Yeah. If this is something uh, suspicious, uh, which is a um, threat to the uh, national um, security, tell NCA. Well done. Next one. On the morning of 16th April, Jade is dismissed. Yeah, it should have been happened, isn't he? If you do for misconduct and leave the office, the very next day it looks like, isn't he? Let me see the dates of the dates given. I don't know. Anyway, on the on the morning, yeah, morning means next day then. Uh, you are temporarily BLM Company's accountant. You are a technician. You become an accountant. Ooh, you got a promotion. You can be happy now. Yeah, maybe pay rise. I don't know. Or maybe more work. You don't know either, yeah? Okay, let's see what is happening here. A VT officer will be coming to the office for a planned visit on the afternoon of 16th April. Oh, my goodness. Same day. <clears throat> a VT officer. And, and we just fired our VT staff today. You are not prepared for this visit and do not believe you can answer any questions from the VAT. Uh, Brian and Lakmani insist that you must be present. Okay, bosses, how can I do? What can I do? Now, I'm getting already answers. Let me read the options. Resign. <laughs> you don't need to resign indeed. Request that the visit by the... Yeah, that is a good answer. Many of you giving me that answer. That, yeah, that is definitely... You can always postpone uh, uh, showing your circumstances. We have done in our schools, in our real life businesses many, many times. Okay, next one. As a result of Jade's misconduct, Brian and Lakmani have asked you to examine is recording of sales ledger transactions in the three months da, 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 sales ledger control account balance at this is called balance bd or brought forward or, or bf brought down and some information receipts 
means bank. This is money received. Sales credit, customer return, sales return, SR. And if you call that bad, and this is your credit uh, closing, credit first March, CD, balance CD. Now, what are you meant to do? You meant to do a sales ledger control account. Sales ledger control account is a debit account. You agree with me? It's a trade receivables account, yeah? TR, trade receivables account. If it goes up on the debit side, if it goes down on the credit side. Okay, so how do you make it up and down? These are your credit customer. So balance BD always on the debit side, no doubt. I'm going to ask you, keep giving me that answer. Cash book means you received money from your customer, credit customer. That makes your, yeah, everybody's saying credit. I do agree. 934076. Uh, you can write cash book. Everybody's right. Yeah. Keep making your receivables down. That's it. Sales day book means you're selling goods on credit to your customer. More credit. Your receivables are going up. Yes, it is. SDB. On the debit side, everybody super duper good people are there. Enthusiastic people are there. You're participative and you're good. Well done. Next one, sales return day book, making your receivables down. And yes, it is credit. Thank you. Very well done. 77 SR. Sales return DB. Day book. And then irrecoverable debt. That makes your receivables also down. So this is also credit. Recoverable debt debit and SLC credit. And you can write every, all of you write, well done. I appreciate, recoverable. Now, balance CDBD, well, you got, you got to do total. Which side is bigger? I think the debit side is bigger. It's a big amount of monies are there. I'd like to do a little work here with my calculator, taking my digital calculator on screen. See, you need a calculator. You need a calculator. I thought we don't need any calculator, but no. 492, I thought this is ethics. There is no calculator needed for and zero, and zero plus. Uh, 970, 9730. What do you get the total? 14, ooh, hold on, 14, 62, 779. Is that so? Do you get that? 15, 8, 4, 2, what do you mean by that? I don't know. Uh, can you see 492409? Yeah, plus 970370. Yeah, that should be correct. 1462779. 1, Seven, seven, what? Nine. Let's write it down here. Fourteen, sixty-two, seven, seven. Oh, you're looking for the missing figure. I'm not yet. Seven, seven, nine. From this figure, I need to take all these three, including the CD takeaway. Am I understood? Yeah. This minus this, 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 including the CD. Let's keep taking it away. Minus nine, three, four, zero, seven, six. Minus nine, seven, zero, three, seven, zero, and minus. Two one one seven seven, and also minus what? Oh my gosh, what is this happening? Hold on, <laughs> fourteen six two seven seven nine minus nine three four zero seven six minus sales return, which is two one one seven seven minus irrecoverable debt four three three zero and minus closing. What is happening with my calculator? Mr. Calculator, why you, you you are betraying with me? I'm closing the calculator. Can can you people, you have already calculated, I believe so. I'm doing one more time, yeah, on the screen. 14, 6, 2, 7, 7, 9 is my figure. From this figure, I'm going to take away all my uh, credit items. Minus 9, 3, 4, 0, 7. 934076. Yeah. Okay. Minus 21177 minus 4330. And then minus, yeah, there you go. My balance CD 487354. Ha. Huh. Yes. I got that missing figure 15842. See why 15842. Thank you. 15842. Can you see I have done the same things three times? Why I need I did done it? You must do this type of calculation two to three times just to double check it. Why to lose our easy marks? When we know the concepts, we can't lose the marks. Now, what can be this one? This could be anything that makes your receivables down, isn't it? What it could be here. Sales return, we have taken irrecoverable to taken. It could be contract, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it could be discount allowed. Discount allowed, isn't it? It could be these things. Uh, calculate the missing figures. We've done it. Mm. And what is the next question? Which of the following could be the figures? Yeah, this is discount allowed or it could be contra as well. 
very well done reading the next one which is your i complete the four following statement about irrecoverable debt the amount of an irrecoverable debt is what one two three calculate as a percentage of uh, trade receivables percentage of trade receivables is basically dd doubtful debt always relates to people are giving me this answer specified customer i'll come back in a minute let me read the next one last one increase in balance allowance or doubt this is also doubtful debt this is not irrecoverable debt this should be the right answer then let's give me let me give you some example let's assume you're selling to mr a mr b mr c mr d these are your customer one of the customers mr d went into liquidation bankrupt so his money become irrecoverable debt that is your specified customer hope it makes sense yep uh let's check our answers We've done it, Brian and Lakhani. We'll postpone. Uh, okay, I think we have done this one as well. And this is the right answer, and this is discount allowed. Specified customer, very well done. Ah, that's all. <laughs> well, well, well. That's all, but uh, task three, I thought uh, by 11, I would finish ethics, but it's taking a little time. Don't worry, uh, I will give you good enough time to uh, do our stuffs. Um, just finish it, yeah? No worries about it, no worries at all. Okay, this, this question now, everybody, this question for 15 marks, task 1.3, can you see some scenario is there and a little bit of writing space there for four marks and then, then uh, for one mark, a little bit of writing. It's just like one mark is nothing much. Yeah, then another email is there and you need to reply to another, it looks like a big email, 10 marks. Yeah, and that is your 15 marks, how to gather the marks. People, just listen to me very carefully. Four marks. For each mark, you need to write one valid point sentence in a sentence manner. That is your four marks. Make out. Try to figure out four valid line sentences or four valid points in short and write it down in your own words. Read the scenario and re read the question requirement, what is being asked and write down four, enough. Four good points is enough. Yeah, on a safe side, sometimes five could be fine, but for the fifth one, you don't get any marks. They will not deduct any mark, but that is the top tips from my side yeah if this is 10 marks here for the presentation you can get one sometimes two but rest i can see the question is divided into three parts so maybe three marks here three marks here and three marks here do you prefer one question from with the bullet point and explanation no bullet point please yeah do not do any bullet point okay this is for like we don't ex uh, uh, like that way of answering. Straight write down in a paragraph, but in sentences. And it's from each sentence, in each full stop, you are aiming one mark. Hope it makes sense, you're welcome. Okay, let's read the scenario for 1.3. This task is about applying ethical and accounting principles. Today's date is February 2018. Date is very important. Be careful. What is the requirement? Let's read the requirement first. Explain the ethical issues, people. For four marks only, you got to find out some ethical issues. Yeah, some threats could be there. Faces by the brain. In your answer, refer to the conceptual framework principles. Threats, even they're getting more careful. I mean, specific threats, safeguards. What are the principles being compromised? Could be yeah. Code uh, uh, professional ethics uh, relevant. So only by reading this paragraph, you need to find out only four valid points and write it, get your full marks. I'm going to read it. You go, gonna give me those points, minimum four or five points, you people. So get ready, reading it for you. Brian has asked you to process a financial statements. So you are a technician, do remember, including a statement of cash flow and some further documents, including cash budget. People, nothing wrong so far. This full line is nothing much. Let me read. He wants, let me read further. He wants you to do this urgently. There is a problem. Anything urgently is like you might not meet the deadline. 
and if you can't meet the deadline you can't do your work with full competency and your professionalism might not be there so yes thank you Aini um, professional competence can be compromised here so that can be your one point make sense yeah urgent urgently like oh rush 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 and uh, like uh, your professionalism can be compromised here you can talk about it yep deadline not being met you're very rushless next one he needs to send these to the bank by the end of the week in support of a loan application is still nothing wrong here uh, maybe next line is action line uh, brian tells you that obtaining the loan is very important for the survival of the business there is a problem i'll come back in a minute and that the jobs of everyone in the business depends on you now is a big problem now including your job you're an accounting technician is in dependent on the uh, loan which you're going to um, which you've been asked to present in front of bank so are you not being yes there you go are you not being a little bit pressurized like indirect threat your mister like boss is giving you threat yo if you can't get the loan remember everybody's job is in uh, danger so this is called intimidation and uh, your you, Everybody means your friends, you you known to them, familiarity, yes, objectivity, intimidation, not self-intimidation, just intimidation, yeah? Self, self-interest could be here. Why self-interest? Self-interest because your job is at risk, so you might be interested to save your job. This is self-interest. Bring it, make one point and get a, a mark. Talk about um, uh, like a deadline, get a mark, yeah. Then uh, you might be loyal towards your friends and company and give them a favor. Let's read the last line. Your studies so far have not covered statements of cash flow. Big competency problem here. Bring your competency here. Yeah. At the beginning, you said here competency. I'd rather keep it as um, uh, professionalism. Yeah. And competency you can bring here. You're not competent enough. You're not trained enough here. So write down. And they said uh, safeguards. Yeah, you can take safeguards. You can talk to your manager. Finally, you can talk to your manager or boss um, uh, regarding, look, boss, I'm not ready to do this. Uh, what can be the options? Can you please give me the options? Who can do this? What can be the good answer here? What, what can be a safeguard here? What can be the alternative option? Ask for supervisor. Okay, you can talk to your supervisor. What is a better answer here? You know, do you, do you have an external accountant, don't you? You have an external accountant. So uh, someone at all limited some, yeah, isn't he? No, don't postpone, don't postpone. This, this is, uh, let me see, this is your bank related items. You want it quicker. Little bit postpone, not a long delay postpone. Yeah, external accountants are expert. You can give some money to them and they can do this type of services. And that could be a safeguard, isn't he? Let's see what did they say in the answer? Give it to someone else. Yeah, that is the someone else. Yeah, who knows the cash flow? Big, your external auditor, uh, accountant, auto limited, give it to them. That was, uh, that's what I just mentioned in a minute. There you go. That is the answer. Unable to complete the task properly because of lack of expertise and short of time. Professional competence and integrity is there. A pin of loyalty means you might be loyal to because of familiarity to friends and colleagues. A little, yeah, of course, you're being intimidated. Fear of loss, self interest because of your lost job. Yeah. Reduce the threat level. They didn't mention that greatly, but we just said it already. Like, give it to someone else, Ado. Or take time, like, get trained. Get trained is a little, little longer. You can get training. This can be your valid answer and fully four marks. Just four sentences or four marks. Makes sense, yeah? Reading the next one. You have discussed the matter with Brian and Lakpani, but they still wish you to carry out the task. Okay, okay, state, state specific course of action. You should, oh, a little bit of that answer I already gave here. What should be your answer here for one mark? State specific course of action. What can you do? Come on, more students still joining in. <laughs> Additional qualification, I can uh, do it if you provide the help, give to someone, refuse. Um, okay, I'm taking a couple of good answers. Either external accountant review. Okay, many, many good answers, intensive course. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, let me tell you, 
just for one mark, you can say, yes, I cannot do, but uh, I need more training. More training. That is going to give you a mark. And number two, you can say, sorry, no, I can't do it. Refuse the work, but uh, uh, offer to uh, hire someone um, external. Yeah, yeah, under supervision, even you can do under supervision. That goes into it. You can say yes, you can say no. Both gonna give you marks. Let's see what did they say. I tell Brian Lakpani that I can only complete the task requested if I additional training. Yeah, there you go. That's gonna give you a mark. I tell cannot undertake, uh, so it should be given to someone else, like Jade Mellon. No, Jade, Jade is gone. I can't give it to Jade. Come on, this is the wrong answer. Ado, yeah, Ado is a good one. Yeah, Ado, Ado and Company. Oh, well done. Boom, boom, boom. Good going, people. And uh, uh, if you want me to extend the lesson, I would extend it. Uh, I'll give you a break in seven, six, seven minutes time. Then uh, let's do it first, then I'll decide. <coughs> you receive the email, following email from Lakmani Moore. Uh, reply to Lakmani uh, addressing the points. So, so what are the points? Let me make it a little bigger here. And let me read the points, yep. Yeah? To Sam, you are Sam from Lakmani, is owner, date is given, subject is this. Be careful with that. You might have to sometimes, this subject is completely copy paste you need to do here, yeah? And you get your uh, marks. And to whom you are going to write a reply to uh, Lakmani, isn't it? So the email from Lakmani from here, you need to write it down there. Copy, just erasing. <coughs> Uh, good morning, Sam. Mm, uh, Lakmani is saying to me, Brian and I, I means Lakmani, are considering starting to operate the business as a limited company. Okay, from partnership. They've been doing partnership, isn't it, so far? Now they're going to go into the limited company. As soon as you read eh, uh, regarding limited company, all sorts of items uh, must play around in your head. What is a limited company? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? Am I understood, yeah? Okay, let me read it. I'd like you to tell me more about advantages and disadvantages of, of uh, partnership becoming limited liability. So in short, advantages and disadvantages of a limited liability company. Please include three sections. What are the sections? Brief description of a limited company. Uh, a summary of our position of owners becomes a limited level company. Explanation of... Um, one key advantage and one key, only two. So, you know, for my 10 marks, people, I have 10 marks here. I'd like to, let's assume one mark here, one mark maybe in the conclusion even. So two marks are there. And eight marks I'd like to gather from these three questions. So eight, if it is eight divided by three, it's 2.66, approximately three marks. So I can gather... Three, I would, I'd like to aim three, three, three. Three marks from first question, three from here. After. Or give it two. Most of the writing you can do here. It always depends on you. Nothing wrong with that. Four marks from here. Even five could be a three marks from the last one. Or even could be four. Four, four, two. That is your 10. That is your exam planning. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's hear it from you people. I like to get started to subject from, and dear, you can write down, not a problem. Uh, tell me about a limited liability company. These are limited liability companies. Yeah, this is a separate legal entity, isn't it? They can sue another business. They can be sued by another business. Separate legal entity, and it, it, you get one mark. You write separate legal entity, you get one mark, and the, you write another thing, which is uh, like, um, this is a, uh, companies act the company's house run by company's house you get another mark separate legal entity you get one mark and talk about it and keep getting your marks don't you yep i said how many marks i'd like to get from here maybe two that is two my two now here in 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 terms of ownership you can talk a lot ownership who are the owners shareholders the owners write it down you get one mark and Directors, they run the business because it is a small company. Shareholders can be directors. Three marks already I showed you. Write it down and get, yep. If more shareholders comes in, it gets diluted. Ownership becomes diluted because like there are, uh, Brian and Lakmani are shareholders, like 50-50 they own. If uh, da, 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 Ilias joins in, 
So their shareholding gonna go down. Maybe I, I'm going to own 20%, 10% from him, 10% from her, 40, 40. This is called dilution of uh, shareholding. Write it down, get your marks. Talk about profit sharing, yeah? Um, the directors, they get, uh, they don't get dividend. Directors, they get uh, money, expense. But shareholders, they get dividend. Talk about it. Get your money. Can you see one, two, three, four, five, six, already many, many marks I gathered? So I'd like to aim for four or five marks here. And uh, uh, sorry, here. And I'm good to go. Advantages and disadvantages. What is the biggest advantage? Come on, write me. What is the biggest advantage of being limited liability company? Your liability is limited by number of shares. The more shares you have, well done. So the uh, shares you bought, you are, liable, you are not liable by your personal belongings, isn't he? They said one only. I'm going to talk one only, one key. This is the biggest advantages. So, but you can extend it, yeah. Uh, liability is limited. I'm not liable by my personal belongings. I got a couple of marks by writing it. My liability is uh, limited by shares. I get one. And I'm not liable by uh, my personal belongings. I get another one, isn't he? Then disadvantages. What are the disadvantages? There are too much workload is any extra workload burden admin burden paperwork yeah so many things additional cost of course but you can choose one and write it down yeah and you conclude it let's see our model answer this is the more okay hold on where's my model answer yeah yeah limited liability company separate legal entity and da -da 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 -da. Um, company sec legislation uh, companies house yeah this is my uh, first one the second one is ownership uh, managed by directors must be one director well, at least one shareholder could be like even one person can open a business yeah with a shareholding brand like many can continue uh, both shareholders they can be directors as well could be owners after tax we give um, um this is called dividend basically yeah dividend and uh, yeah talk about it diluted they didn't say it but you can talk about it ownership can be diluted if more shareholders comes in yeah so advantages and disadvantages well, 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 that is your ethics, people. I'd like to come back on a screen uh, in front of you here. I hope you can see me. Now, I thought <laughs> till 11.30 I'm going to go. I want to do the Excel, which I already opened with you, but I want to give you a break. What do you think, people? What do you think of having a 20 minutes break, then after the break, a half an hour break, after the break, we come back and let's carry on um, on a spreadsheet. Or if you say, no, Elias, um, that's all for today. Um, I can conclude it here, but um, it's on you. Uh, my time was my time was 11.30, but I can definitely extend it, yeah? I, I'm, I'm getting a, a consent from you. Or, or just stay stay tuned with me 15 minutes. Let me let me do it. Yeah, let me do it. Stay stay tuned. Okay, let me put my camera down. A spreadsheet, people, when you open the spreadsheet, it looks like exactly like this. You're going to uh, download it, save it, and upload later on. Make sense? Use um, this, these are easy things. This is the uh, scenario. You have already read the scenario. I'm getting some text. Okay. Break sound goods. <laughs> break to continue later okay 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 hold on hold on hold on okay 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 now i'd like to give you a no break break <laughs> okay democracy let's go to the democracy people let's go continue 15 minutes then i will end the lesson yeah if within 15 minutes i will show you the spreadsheet yeah uh, let's continue let's continue okay let's continue okay more people saying let's continue let's continue yeah let's keep going Okay, putting my camera down. So let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. So when you download it, um, this one, first you need to up, uh, you need to save it in this format. You need to save it in your initial, in your initial, so, uh, then dash surname, this 80 number, dash uh, uh, date and task, yeah? For example, J dash uh, Donovan and and the eighty number and likewise and likewise and at the end you need to save it dot XLS format or XLS X format we call it Excel format okay so that's the first thing you got to do N let's read this situation 
We already know BLM, who is BLM, who are we? What is the situation here? Uh, BLM company had originally budgeted to make and sell 5,000 things. And due to a marketing campaign, however, it actually made it sold 6,000 things um, in a quarter. So they sold more than 1,000 things, isn't it? How much, how much more? 1,000. Compared to your budget, uh, 5,000. You sold 20% extra, didn't you? 20% extra. But do you do this in, like, let's assume, maybe somewhere here, do you just write down 20, sorry, 20%? 20 Answer is no. If you do like this, you're going to get zero marks. You need to follow the instruction, one by one instruction. This time we're going to do a flexible budget because we had a budget for 5,000 units. We're going to uh, have a budget for 6,000 units now. Before I read anything else in this task, which is A, B, C, and D, I'd like to check out my other um, worksheets, original budget, I can see. Uh, I might meant to do a flexible budget. This is original budget for 5,000. I might need to do a budget for 6,000, shouldn't I? Then actual results should be there. Then I should calculate my variance based on uh, compared to actual with uh, budgeted, don't I? Okay, even actual results are given here. Uh, there's something called goal seek from what if analysis and screen print, you already know. Uh, if it is not known to you, you need to keep a screenshot and as evidence that you have worked it out and you need to copy paste here from your um, keyboard a screenshot. Now, people, <laughs> let me get it started. It will make more sense to you. Although it looks like oh, loads of uh, story are here, it's not much. Let's keep going one by one here. Yeah. Open the worksheet called original budget. We opened it. So this is done. Let me let me do a color here on open in cell d1 use formula to calculate the percentage by which to flex the original budget in light of actual activity in the quarter ended 31st december i'm repeating everybody you need to follow the order and requirement one by one am i understood one by one whatever they said we're gonna follow do it color with the green go to the next one make sense okay so in d1 use the formula to calculate the percentage you know i already calculated 20 percent yeah uh how much we got to flex, flex it by 20 percent so i'm going to original budget this is my d this is my one and how do i do it every formula or function we start with equals to from the uh, what do you call it laptop uh, uh keyboard so you get six thousand minus five thousand and bracket close divided by exactly that's what i did in my calculator a little earlier isn't it 5000 hit enter is 0 0.2 which is a percentage but as i said i'm going to follow them one by one this is done next one format the d1 as a percentage to two decimal places let's go to here how do you format it percentage now this is the percentage i can click it oh I uh, let's do control z i must put my cursor in this isn't it in this box this is percentage but they said two decimal places how do you make it can you see this arrow click in it let's wait a little bit <laughs> come on what happened <laughs> okay it came in can you see decimal places are zero two i'm gonna make it one two i can choose anything currency whatever whatever needed these are currency here but my one is percentage click okay job done can you see this uh, change to percentage boom boom that's how you do green done next one in column d to create a flexible budget insert formula to flex the revenue and cost where necessary using absolute referencing people what do you mean by absolute referencing locking the cells using f4 from your uh, keyboard or dollar sign uh, yeah dollar sign thank you alicia uh, to the percentage in d1 so in short they're telling us to flex the budget people I'd like to have a budget. This is my budget for 5,000, but I'd like to increase it by 20%, doesn't it? And then have a flexible budget. Just follow me. Equals to this time multiply 20%, and this needs to be locked. Just click on F4. Can you see dollar signs comes in before D1? Uh, D, um, uh, the cell is going to be locked. Then plus. 800,000, hit enter, 960, 
thousand is my flexible budget. Do you understand what I'm doing? I'm just adding 20% with this, this times by 20% plus this again, I got the figure here. That's it, my people. And if I drag it down, I'm gonna get my formulas for flexible, uh, all the other uh, budgets are flexi uh, flexing. Material labor, these are variable, but these two are fixed. My question, do you flex, flex your fixed cost? F or fixed budget, do you flex your fixed budget? Yes, the answer is no. So these two I did was wrong, delete it. And fixed remains fixed, whatever is the level of activity, whether 20% up or 30% up or down, no matter. So I just copied and pasted this two here. Hope everybody understood. How did they drag it down? Just this plus sign, hold my cursor, putting it bottom. These are my answers. And I think I have done this one. Yeah, done it. In column E, to update the actual results for the quarter, use copy and paste. Uh, and, and one question, if the revenue flexed already, how can we find by what percentage? Oh, we just flexed it by 20%. This revenue is not flexed, it is the original budget and we had to flex it, okay, I mean, we had to flex it. This is 20% uh, plus, yeah, C5 times by 20% plus, again, C5, yeah. That's how you, we flexed it. This is, you can prove it with your calculator. And the same formula being applied to uh, all of it, it's, it's just 20% increased, hope it helps. Moving on, in column E, to update the actual sales for the quarter, use copy and paste uh, values, do not paste link. Mm, column E, update actual, okay, okay, revenue cost from the article, uh, actual result. Actually, this from here, you need to copy. Your question is not clear, if it happens, what do you mean by if it happens? Okay, actual results, I copied and pasted it here. Boom, we done it. And green, okay. Wow, we just done it. Well done, nine marks. Boom, boom, boom. That is your nine good marks, people. Okay, so let me come over on the screen. I know the last year then the sure, sure, sure. People, I'd like to come here and uh, on a screen. Did you see how I done it? Then, then likewise, you do this bits here. And likewise, you do these bits here, freeze pans are easy. And when while doing gold seek, I need to take a screenshot and uh, paste it here. That's how I normally do it. To be very honest with you, I'd like to keep it handy till this. Uh, all these things, like, can you see here, This this there are BPP books I've been using here. And in this BPP books, there are, many, many other uh, chapters, one, two, three, four chapters. If you master these chapters, do all the questions, you can master your ethics. Then if you master these chapters from BPP on Excel, you can master, or any other mod, uh, um, what do you call it, your course material, you can master yourself. I have a thorough question, a very good news for you, very, very handy good news. You know, this accounting uh, lecture.teachable.com. Here, I just uploaded one, especially for you people, because you know, it's time consuming. I can't cover everything in two hours lesson or even three hours. Here is one, this is 80 level three of Z. If you click here, I will send the link with you. This is the link um, which I'm sending, uh, sharing with you uh, in the, now what do you call it? Um, so okay, there was a little uh, there's a little noise you can see. It's uh, pardon me for that one, but I hope uh, you can hear me clearly. If this in this. This is a course, although it looks like oh, too much expensive, it is not. There is a 75% discount from here. The entire book covered, all the questions, all the tests you're understanding, only six hours. Chapter one, two, three, four from BPP book, fully covered. Even the book is given here. Spreadsheet is one, uh, one 
27 minutes and 87 minutes fully covered plenty of practice plenty of practice and the book is uploaded there only viewable not downloadable but rest you can view anytime and the mock the entire mock the spreadsheet this is spreadsheet and the next is spreadsheet along with the materials all given and as i said i'd like to share the link with you if choice is yours there's a 70 percent discount hold on this uh, yeah let me get the link and share the link with you this is my course link uh, one or two is uh, viewable one, let me mute all my students here uh yeah some of you become unmute so this is all whatever I was meant to cover, even these two today, is being covered here. You can check it. The mock is covered. Hundreds of questions being covered. Uh, lots of uh, effort. I made it. Um, let me put the video off. Yeah. Hundreds of questions. Uh, I set here comprehensive uh, recorded videos. Course materials can be accessed online. All questions and test your understanding covered. Mock exam, ethics, spreadsheet, revision covered. Just six hours. You still have 10 days for your exam. 17th onward, the exams are getting started. Um, with that big discount, you need to use loyalty 75. At checkout, you need to use loyalty 75. We get a 75% discount. Uh, I hope it's gonna help you many, many needy students. Normally we sell these courses more than 250 pounds. In my website, this is 166 pounds, uh, but this is just to help you, nothing else. You just uh, need to enroll here. And uh, of course, you know my email. I'd like to help you anytime, whenever I am free. I canceled my existing lesson today with my college and given you this particular gift lecture, which is free. Um, over here, can you see add, coup um, add coupon? So you just write L-O-Y-A-L-T-Y 75 and apply. Look at this, it came down to 41.50. Yeah, it's just only for you people, only for my, stu my online platform students. Nobody else, not even my KBM uh, uh, college students, nobody. This is just a gift for you because it's getting changed. I wanted to, we wanted to give you something which you can find useful, helpful. This course definitely going to help you. Within these six hours, you can get full competency and uh, a thorough, thorough understanding, loads of practice. Well, all you need to know is, all you need to do is sit with some pages and practice, watch and practice watch and practice and have some popcorn <laughs> yeah and coca-cola chicken and chips even i don't mind but don't watch any netflix watch while watching my videos watch my videos how does it look like uh when you open it like if you open this one let me show you the textbook when you open the textbook the textbook you can oh because this is i'm not enrolled yet uh, it is locked, <laughs> but if I follow, uh, open the, um, what do you call it, uh, admin version, which I do have here, uh, I can show you. But if you preview this one, like what are the videos going to look like? Yeah, In chapter two, these are open videos, small, small videos, five minutes, 10 minutes, two minutes. Some some of these are long, long, uh, six minutes, as you see. Yeah, this is the first video already been open. So let me close it. Um, yeah, these are the videos, small, small videos, everything covered. Look at this seven minutes video, three minutes video even, and eight minutes, two minutes video, small chunk of videos, definitely gonna help you. Uh, that is uh, uh, been proven from many of my other students, thousands of students. You already know, uh, many of you uh, should know my YouTube channel by this time, more than 13,000 students, they found it helpful from all over the world. And uh, yes, these are the uh, videos here. And uh, so 
this is highly recommended to all of you. This is yet again a gift because you've been loyal and knowledge seeking people. Um, of course, later on this, this offers loyal 75 gonna go after this batch. Uh, it will not be there. Uh, this is gonna be helpful. I hope you found this particular lecture helpful as well. Uh, the remaining oh, things I couldn't do today, these things, number C, number B, and uh, even mock 2.2 is also uploaded in my lecture over here. In my lecture over here, these are the lectures over here. The materials are uh, there as well. So um, yes, uh, if I go uh, the books, let, let, uh, no, not this one, the books, for example, this book is uploaded, this book is uploaded, similar, and question bank is also uploaded. So plenty of practice you can gonna have. Coming back to the point now, your exams are in 10 days time. This is a hectic, many students, they can't succeed. What is the way of success? How do you succeed here? Make sure to practice as much as you can. Plenty of practice options are there. Your green light tests are there. Then uh, mocks are there online. In BPP, there are mocks, three mocks, whatever uh, module, uh, uh, course material you're using, uh, there are mocks, make sure you practice it. But before practicing the mocks, you must have the knowledge of a spreadsheet of ethics, then you can apply it. Hmm? Exam scenario is different. Make sure you revise a little bit of, uh, not a little bit, you know the structure of uh, management accounting, costing, final accounts, preparation, and uh, advanced bookkeeping. And these are the 10 days you work harder, make it, happening make it successful don't be lazy otherwise regret for long only two sittings next july is another sitting after that things are getting changed before that my suggestion please pass it well people uh, use uh, oh. Uh, that's all from my side, I would like, I like to say. Um, thank you for joining in. Any more questions from your side? I'd like to accept. Uh, the link is at the top, yeah? The link is, I, I think I shared. I will share in the email to everybody as well. Um, I, I shared the link in the chatting option and the discount coupon code is L-O-Y-A-L-T-Y-75. This is just for you people, nobody else, yeah? I'll send you over the email as well. Um, um, thanks for attending. You people been from different, different parts of the United Kingdom, different, different parts of colleges. I hope you enjoyed my lecture. Uh, I, it was you're more than welcome. It was very nice to see you. I can't tell you. This, this has been really amazing. Stopping the share now. Uh, um, if you like this type of uh, free sessions to happen, I, if you want me to conduct this, uh, free sessions on behalf of my accounting lecture. In my, my YouTube channel is very rich also that um, you let me know. Enjoyable and you made me laugh too. <laughs> Laurie, oh, thank you, Laurie. <laughs> but you didn't participate that much. Come on. At the very end, he said, enjoyable. You, you are well, more than welcome. That really gives me pleasure. You know, uh, of course, money is nothing. Those discounts are nothing. What, what gives us pleasure being a teacher? What makes me happy is when, when you pass and text me, Elias, I passed it. That makes me very happy. Yeah, that's we, all we want. Um, my prayers are with you. My good wishes are with you. This is a pandemic time, uncertain time. If people are studying uh, towards your uh, professional accounting, uh, it is a professional accounting course and you got to be focused all the time, don't you? So I really appreciate the way you participated. You people are really good. If, uh, you can stay in touch with me uh take my whatsapp number 07983171108 uh for any uh i'm really busy all, all day six days even six days not five days but i'd like to help you anytime no problem and uh make sure be honest with you don't be lazy you be honest with you you study hard you practice hard you party hard yeah, once you pass, party hard. We're going to do party together. Yeah. Well, that's great. And make sure to engage. Only 20 students are going to get this that discount because um, the this coupon codes are limited. So um, that's all from my side. Uh, 
don't worry even my english is not that strong i know many students are for europe uh um, Aini, go ahead, you can ask me, of course. Uh, many students are for, uh, doing AET, they, are, they have already two, three kids, uh, they are full-time jobs, and um, Asian students are there, so we use very simple English. Yeah, all my videos are there, um, you can check it out. Please, can you repeat your number again? I shared into the chatting option, it's 0798317118. That is the number, WhatsApp number only. Um, you can find it from my YouTube channel as well. From my, um, what do you call it? Um, website as well. Okay, that's great. Oh, from South Africa. Yeah, I saw someone from Botswana has joined as well. Well done. Best of luck for your um, AAT. AAT is almost all over the world. It's very popular in Middle East, also in Myanmar and other parts of uh, South Africa. Yeah, good to see you. I'd, I'd like to end my conversation here. It's a goodbye. Uh, I will email uh, the link. Thank you, of course. Yeah, thank you, uh, Lori. Bye-bye. I'll uh, send the link with discount code. See you some other day. Stay connected. Stay blessed and be safe. Ta-ta.